you know, we have very many petitions in Parliament on the gazetted forests and forests that are grabbed. I would want to hear how you intend to work with Parliament, especially in dealing with uh, all those issues, land issues around the gazettement, encroachment of forests, and outright land grabbing of forested areas. Uh, case in point, uh, I'm aware, I, I know, and I don't know if you may be aware, of the Ololua forest uh, matter just uh, outside Nairobi, uh, and what you would intend to do to reclaim all this uh, grabbed forest land. Mr. Speaker, I, when, I, when I look at the ministry, and even parliament, there are a number of petitions uh, touching on forest, grab land of the forest, part of the forest be put under use either for agriculture, for even government offices across the country. And the history of a uh, forest being grabbed, being encroached, is as old as the Republic of Kenya. In my entire life in, in Parliament, from the Mao Forest, when the Honorable late uh, Michuki was the Minister for Environment, it's a recurring thing. And what I want to intend, if this House approves me, Mr. Speaker, is first to consolidate all those petitions. Some are genuine, some are fr uh, out of fraud. Generally deliver a cabinet uh, memo and the cabinet, the highest uh, decision-making organ of our country, can make a decision on this matter. All the petitions, the ones dealt with the parliament, the ones which have not been dealt. Coming specifically to Ololua, Mr. Speaker, I want to categorically, without fear of contradiction, say that if this house approves me, in the, in the first 30 days, working with the Minister for Lands and other government agencies, a number of titles, including and belonging to big people in government, some of them members of parliament, will be revoked. I will revoke those. And uh, I am ready to bear the consequences. Particularly for I the one on Ololua. I have been briefed, I have listened to experts, and I have seen it's deliberate. In the last two years, there are people who got illegal title deeds, and I think it will be the first place I will visit and more so with the Committee on Environment. And I hope the chair is a member of this committee, my chair, we will visit. And please, uh, Mr. Speaker, some of your members might be casualties. No problem. If you do what is right, we will support you. you yes. Mr. Speaker, is that to say the CS nominee actually knows the grabbers of Ololua Forest? because he has uh, claimed they are senior government officers, including members of parliament. I, I hope he's not referring to me since I asked the question. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, I am the nominee for the Minister of Environment, Climate Change, and Forestry. So if this house approves me, forestry will be my business. Grabbers of uh, forest land will be my business. Whoever they are, whatever their status is in society. Mr. Speaker, if I just to say it, and I think for record, let me say it. With the last two years,